Happy New Year. Hopefully y'all can hear me over this heater that I have on me, like blasting on me because it's 50 degrees, 47 degrees out here. It just lasts, well, like not even last week. Um, it was like 80 degrees. So we're at 50 degrees and I am sick. And I am driving myself to the emergency room. Um, A, to check on baby, B, to check on me. Okay, y'all. I am here in labor delivery. I have an IV, baby monitor, and stuff. Trying to see. I do have COVID. That's what the doctor thinks. But I'm waiting for those results to come back. So I'm going to go to sleep for the most part. I have to wait here for several hours. And yeah, I was just checking in. It's terrible. Hey, y'all. I don't even know if my, ma my mask is it upside down. I don't know. Um, hey, y'all. So, yes, I have COVID. I don't know when I really, I've been feeling sick for a little minute now, but it wasn't much for me to think that it was COVID. I should have trusted myself. I should have got a test earlier. But y'all know I went to the hospital yesterday and um, confirmed that I do have COVID. They diagnosed me with it and I did have low blood pressure. So pretty much um, they were saying that I have low blood pressure and that's why yesterday I was super lightheaded on numerous occasions. Um, that actually what brought it to my attention that something was wrong because I was so lightheaded and I was cramping. I have my mask on because my daughter is in her room um, and my boyfriend just left but he started to feel bad like have a like a headache like a fever so I gave him some Tylenol because they recommended I take two um, 500 extra strength Tylenol and it has been helping I have not had as many fluids as I need but um, I just took some Tylenol and it gives me, um, I, I don't feel too bad in my body to get up and try to clean up because I just don't want my apartment to look, to just look bad or smell bad. And my daughter is still living in this space. I'm confined to my room. My boyfriend was in the living room, but that may have to change because he wasn't feeling good. Um, so I'm going to have to figure that out, but we do have some of this right here and it's like a covert uh killer and it's like chemical grade so i'm going to try to clean up the kitchen um right now the dishes are backed up i've been taking these dishes out I'm trying to put them up here trying to organize for as much as i can i hate little packs of ketchup i just feel like go it goes in the trash um christmas tree is still up i started to take some of the stuff down but this trash needs to go no i don't normally take the trash out my boyfriend takes it out but i'm in the middle of cleaning i'm probably just more than likely going to take it out i'm going to put these dishes up um normally i wouldn't even film if i'm feeling bad but i need to because i'm trying to be consistent or whatnot i'm not going to overdo it for myself i'm going to put these dishes up we'll do that clean this clean this up spray down that so running a load of like his towels and miscellaneous clothes and stuff that's been left out in this open space um i would say i would mop the floor but i can't do that because it does too much for my stomach it just hurts so Hopefully my boyfriend is feeling better later and he can do that part. But I'm going to try to clean off all the handles. Go back to my room once that load is done. Washing. I'm going to try to wash my cover and stuff like that. And just make sure my daughter has everything that she needs in her room. I'm so fortunate enough that she has her own room, her own restroom. And she can go in her space. But she comes in the kitchen all day long wanting snacks and stuff. And I just need this area to be sanitized you know make sure that she's not getting sick and see what we can do for today 
Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Turn on your post notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at xoshardae. Um, let me tell you the other symptoms I had. Other than lightheadedness, fever, chill, headache. Um, I have not had loss of smell or taste. I have loss of appetite, but that's just because I felt too weak to eat. Um, no breathing issues, thank God. No coughing, thank God. But, um, that's where we are right now. So, let me try to do this. Push myself, because mommy comes first. I guess I put too much detergent in there, but it'll be fine. And I've cleaned off the counter. I'm using this Lysol. It says that it kills germs. It's tested as proven to kill COVID-19. This is a spray. The disinfectant spray that I said this also kills COVID-19. I spray a little bit of this because I do like the way it smells and it is uh, plant-based. So I'm just trying to clean up this kitchen. I've gotten okay so far. Cleaned out the sink. I cleaned it with the plant base with this towel. Towel, so I'm just gonna. I actually want to throw both of them away. I don't want to keep them. Okay. Nana. So my mom has decided to come pick up Shy. She did get tested, but she does not have COVID. So Shy is gonna go to my mom's house. So I'm about to get her bag ready for that. But the kitchen is pretty much clean. Just gotta spray everything else down and do my do my bedroom. You're gonna go to Ganny's house. Cause Ganny doesn't have the virus. And Daddy may have the virus too. Cause he had a fever. I know. So let me clean my hands. Don't mind her hair, y'all. My mom is here to take her. I'm sending her with some of this medicine. Just gave her Tylenol. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna take her down right now. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mama. Bye. I love you. I love you, too. Hey, y'all. So, Shy is gone. Um, I really appreciate my mom for coming to get her. Shy doesn't have any, like, signs of any symptoms. And my mom got um, her results back and she does not have COVID, which is pretty good. So right now I'm just spraying everything down with this. If my camera is blinking, my camera does this every now and then. And I don't have time to wait. So there it goes. I don't have time to sit there and wait for it to be back normal. Um, it stops. But I'm spraying like the doorknobs. So my boyfriend is going to stay in the living room space and I'm going to go in my room. I'm still washing his blanket and I hope that I'll be able to wash my blanket. If not, tonight I'll try to do it in the morning and just spray with this. This stuff is really, really good. I just want to talk to y'all, give y'all another update that I've gotten about my pregnancy and it's super frustrating. So... In my last vlog, I told you guys that I did the glucose testing. I was assuming that everything was okay because they did not call me back and tell me anything. But of course, like a pattern with this OBGYN, after several days, well not even days, sometimes like a week or so, they will contact me and tell me news that I feel like should be told within one or two days. And they told me that I have to go back and do the three hour glucose testing um because my numbers were not good so i'm going to have to do that and another thing that i need to bring up with my ob is that um basically like my low my low blood pressure this has been going on for my pregnancy for like the past two appointments i've been having and they didn't make it sound like it was a big deal but i need to be aware of what's going on because i do have a heart murmur and now having COVID, that really caused me to have a lot of lightheadedness. 
the doctor at the ER did say that it's normal to have lightheadedness, but um, well, like low blood pressure. But if this has been like a frequent thing, then I probably need to go to a cardiologist to figure out, like, you know, just make sure everything is okay. Especially by the time I go to deliver, like, I don't want that to be a thing. So I'm not claiming that to be a thing, but it seems as though like I have to pay more attention to all of those details and not expect my OB to be on it because clearly that's not that's not the case here. Um, but yeah, so I will be 29 weeks on Wednesday and that's the update. So I'm gonna have to see if I have to change my appointment for that because my appointment to do the glucose testing is like January 11th. My birthday is January 14th. Your girl not really doing anything for her birthday. Um, COVID is 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 very serious, and well, it's it's been serious. It's not like it ever died down. It's just super frustrating because I don't think that certain people realize how serious it is, and you know they can be careless and make careless decisions and sometimes decisions can be intentional and it's just very frustrating so i have to be more stern when it comes to you know wearing a mask home around if you have any type of symptoms just don't come around me um and i will come around you because that's just the type of person i am like if i feel the slightest bit of sickness like i'm just not about to expose that to anybody because you don't know people's underlying health issues and it's just only right um you know we just can't keep doing this and i will be having a baby in a few months and the way that these variants keep changing and mutating it's like we gotta figure out you know what's going on um i don't want to talk about vaccines and stuff on my channel you choose to do what you choose to do i choose to do what i choose to do but at the end of the day, even with, you know, everything, just be more careful, be more mindful. If you're feeling this type of way, just stay at home. I haven't really um, eaten today. I ate like a kolache this morning. I had a um, half of a donut. The Because my nurse last night, she was very, very nice. And she was telling me because like how my baby is sitting like he's squishing my stomach so i'm not eating as much as i probably should be eating so i need to eat like high carb meals but i don't even really have an appetite so i'm gonna try to force myself to eat i got a smoothie earlier also didn't drink it i just wanted to pop in and tell you like once i take the tylenol i'm a lot better so just pray for your girl in this vlog and i'll just upload it tonight so just to get an update on what's going on, I'm 29, basically 29 weeks pregnant with COVID. And it's frustrating. Another thing about this year, I do plan on being consistent. Um, I hold on to a lot of content, a lot, a lot, a lot of content. And I don't post it for whatever reason, like, especially like my traveling vlogs, my day in life vlogs, I don't post it. And I'm just going to start posting it because it's a lot of work to be filming these videos and to not post them. So actually I'm just going to end the vlog here. If I decide or something else happens over the night, I will pick up the pick up my camera and vlog that on to tomorrow and go on like that. But I just wanted to come and give you guys an update on me and what's going on. And yeah, just ask for y'all support and y'all just to be careful out there. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.